Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. The day has come. Today is our What I Got My Kids For Christmas unboxing vlog. I couldn't sleep very well last week, so I ordered all of our Christmas presents. And they all came nice. today. And there's a lot. Don't worry, it looks like more than it is. Or at least that's what I tell Dallin. I don't believe her. Our dogs are gonna be really disappointed. They love when we open packages because usually you guys send them treats, but there's nothing for them this time. There's nothing for you. Luna. Okay, so I just let's get started. We got these from Costco a long time ago. We're gonna put the links for everything down below so don't worry we will take care of you guys these are really cool these are slumber bags we watch a lot of movies at night and these are just really cool like if they go sleep at grandma's house or if they want to have a sleepover outside of their beds or even in their beds they're really cool they have a built-in pillow and then they're little slumber bags this one's for George this one's for James Costco had them a while ago I don't think they have them anymore but I'll put them in for you okay this one I'm really excited about it was so easy to buy presents for George because he's three and he tells me what he likes. James, not so easy, but I think I did well. So these are for, this is from like an educational company for like that outfits like preschools and classrooms. It's called ECR for kids and it's on Amazon, but these are really cool soft stackable blocks that I thought James would really like. So like they're bigger. Oh, that's a good idea. Isn't that fun? We go to Thanksgiving Point and they have those stackable yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have love them at the stacking Children's them up Museum. and just knock them over. But there's a ton of them. Four, eight, twelve. I think there's like sixteen of them. So you can make really fun towers or like little, I don't know, doorways. They're really cool. I think George really will just set those up and knock them over all day. Yeah, I think they'll be a toy that both of our kids will really like. So we have an eighteen-month-old and a three-year-old. This is a good toy, I think. All right, next. Oh my gosh. This one's cute. So this is from Amazon. These are all mostly from Amazon. This is like a life size, or it's as big as James and Elsa doll. Her new favorite thing is Elsa. We got her one at the store, but then Dash ate the arm off. She just loves Elsa right now. She goes, Elsa. Can you do the impression? Elsa, Elsa. Okay. Oh, these are at our library and George loves them. They're technically for James because she's kind of younger, but George loves these. These are called B-Mags. They're magnetic building rods. George would play golf with the balls and the rods, and then you could just build with them. I've seen little ones, but those are like really big. Yeah. Every time I would take him to the library, he would use this one and golf with it <laughs> and hit it. We have a huge magnet sensory bin, and this will be great in it. That'll be awesome. Next, James, like we said, is obsessed with Elsa. So I found, this came with a little Elsa dress for her. Aww. But it has cute gloves. Oh, those are her gloves? And a wand, yeah. Conceal, don't feel. And a little crown. So they're like the dress I chose. I'm excited to show you my sister has it and it's just like it's not as fancy as the as the Disney store ones But it's easier for them to put on. It's just a simpler dress that I think will be better for her I'll show you. Okay, and then for George he has never seen spider-man But somehow he knows who spider-man is so we got him a spider-man action figure Okay, here's the dress all my little nieces and nephews have the same one So it's just like a really soft material and stretchy so you could like sleep in it easily and it has a little cape So cute. It's way cute this part came with it's a braid a braid bow oh she'll love this we i really like dress up toys so this is kind of adding to our dress up collection okay so this next box i wanted to do a lot of dress up stuff just a lot of like sensory and imagination play and then also add to our craft collection like george is getting getting really into like drawing and painting and i just wanted to have more things for him and as a teacher my kid's favorite thing in the world was tape <laughs> and to tape things together. I forgot who this is from, but it's a huge tape roll with different colored tapes and you can cut it here so they can like make books or... Oh, so that's the edge right there. Yeah, the but thing. they're each separate. So it's just like a really fun thing for your crafting table. I have everything put together in an Amazon storefront, I guess. What would you call it? In our Amazon page. So I'll put the link to that so you can check everything out for yourself. Okay, George is gonna flip when he sees this. This is what he asked Santa for. And Santa, if you bring this, I'm sorry, but I just had to order it to make sure George got it. He asked for a, a big jet. Oh gosh. He's gonna go nuts. It's gonna be Isn't so cute. Fun? Oh, he's gonna love that so much. Oh my gosh, it's so big. And it has blinking lights and fire boosters an engine. He's always like, where's the engine? So I made sure to get an engine. Okay, this next one, I grew up with these puzzles, these Ravensburger puzzles, and we have no puzzles right now. And as a teacher, a, a former teacher, that's pretty much a fail in my book. So we, I stocked up on all these fun little puzzles. They're just really cute and they have really pretty pictures. So they're just something that will last for a lot of years for us. Then for James, 
This is a little baby doll, a wee baby Stella. And the best part of it is that the pacifier is magnetic. So if you give her the pacifier, it actually sticks. All the dolls that we've played with, it always frustrates them that they can't get the pacifier to stick in there. But this one's magnetic and soft and washable. And it had a ton of good reviews. So we got James's first baby doll for her. And then these are just triangular crayons. All the crayons we have from like Crayola always break. So we got these really thick Melissa and Doug triangle crayons. Okay, I cannot say enough wonderful things about Lakeshore Learning. Their toys are a little bit pricier. So when, when the kids' grandparents ask for what we want for Christmas, I always send them to Lakeshore. But the thing is, they're made for classrooms. So they're made to last for years and years and years and they're kind of tried and tested by classrooms so you know whatever you buy from Lakeshore is going to be good. My grandma Trish got some good stuff. So for James we got these cute little masks. They're just dress up masks but they're not they're not like full over the head which sometimes scares my kids and the, uh, the little elastic that goes around is soft so it's not anything that's gonna like snap or hurt or break easily they're just they're super cute and it's they're super durable so we got these for james for the dress up box so like this is the bunny so it's just like a really soft headband Let's see it and they're just easy to put on and they're <laughs> simple but like we could totally use this for halloween one year too and then i got george so this is like a little paint tray and then these are sponges sponge rollers with different designs on them so it's just more for like arts and crafts and just sponge painting oh you can see here like it does hearts or diamonds or circles or zigzags just some fun craft stuff that we can put out every once in a while oh and these are these are sponge stamps too that's a really cute see like my kindergarten heart is like oh that would be the best center okay so i ordered this one while i was at my sister's the other week she had a ton of these for her kids they're called widgets i am kind of disappointed i made the mistake of ordering like the cheaper version and they're a lot smaller so these are kind of choking hazards and they were supposed to be for james essentially though they're really, really fun puzzle building toys that you can do a ton of different stuff with. I might keep it and just get rid of the little white ones for now. They're pretty good. I'll probably keep it. The like name brand ones are, are a lot thicker and bigger and the little white piece couldn't fit in a kid's mouth. So if you have little kids and you want to get these, I would get the name brand one. But if you don't and you want to send, save money, just get the one I got. Okay, so this, this will be part of our magnet collection, but it will probably be like a supervision only thing. Let me show you what I found. Okay, so these are iron filings, which could potentially be hazardous, I'm sure. But they work really cool with magnets. So I got these learning- I love those in yeah, preschool. I got these learning resources magnets, which are fun anywhere. I got the idea of my sister's kids, they have a sandbox and they had these magnets and they were dragging them through the sound box and they were picking up little iron pieces and they started collecting them until they had a whole bowl of them. And then I found out you could just buy these instead of collecting them one by one from a sandbox. But it's really, really fun. They have a really cool texture and you can kind of like, I'll show you. George was just mesmerized by it. So these are pretty strong magnets. They work really well. Watch what happens. Like, it'll stick to it. Okay. <laughs> it'll just stick Got to all it. all over. No, watch, but it doesn't matter. So like, it's kind of, it turns into almost like a, a kinetic sand substance. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And you just keep it in like a bowl. So we'll probably only put out like a little bit at a time, like this much amount and save the rest just in a store, just in a cupboard. It's just a really cool sensory toy. Okay, this is George's big present. This one I'm excited for. It does require some assembly, so I can't, I don't think I'll be able to show it to you put together. <laughs> Here's a picture of it. It's just really fun. We had, George played with it in our last vlog at my sister's house. Oh, hey, George. Give us an excavator. Give us an excavator. What? Have a red scoop uh, and then a blue and red. And it's like a really good toy for summer or winter. He can dig in the snow with it. He can dig in the sandbox with it. It's really cool. My sister has five kids and it's lasted through all five kids and they still have it. So I was pretty confident it would be a really good toy for our family for a lot of years. Okay, this may feel like a lot of toys. I do homeschool preschool. So a lot of these things are things that I've been wanting to get throughout the next school year. But also I'm just a sucker for Christmas. Okay, George is three and I'm so excited for him to be three because he can finally play these fun three-year-old games. So we got the Sneaky Stacky Squirrel Game. It has a ton of good reviews. I've never played it, but a lot of people have said it's a really fun game for young kids. We got Candyland. Aw, fun. 
And then this is called Zingo. It's for ages four and up, but I, he really likes bingo. So I thought maybe we could either improvise with it or just go really slow with it so that he could play. It's supposed to be really good for early reading skills too. This toy, George has like a strange fashion, fascination with bells. <laughs> <laughs> so we got him his own dinger bell. <laughs> oh, and then these are just toddler safe training scissors that we got him for this year with school. Okay, and then in here, this is kind of for George and James. We have a really small train set, so we just got some more train tracks so we don't have to fight over them all the time now. There's some train tracks. Their favorite at the library is the tunnel, so I got our own tunnel. And this is a really cool, I like to look on the homeschool curriculum websites and they have a lot of really fun educational games. This is a shapes puzzle. It's kind of like tangram style where they give you little cards that tell you how to, like what the puzzle should look like, like this owl right here. And then the kids have to figure out how to how to make the owl out of the shapes. It's really good. Lots of teachers have these. Okay, the last toy we got was just an impulse buy from Target. This is the Hearth in Hand Magnolia cash register. We already have a kitchen set and I, they love to play restaurant. So I thought this would be a really cool way for them to just like have more fun with that. And it's also good for like store or buying things. Just a really good dramatic play toy. And it's really cute and Joanna made it so it must be good. Okay guys, that's it. I obviously went a little crazy when I was ordering these. I ordered a, a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of good stuff and a lot of stuff from family members. Um, my one takeaway for you would be to check out some really cool homeschool curriculums. I'll link them below. Um, they have a lot of really good ideas for educational and dramatic play toys. And then also check out Lakeshore Learning. It is, it is a treasure trove of toys. Okay, that's it. Merry Christmas. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It's a little bit different. It's stuff we've bought for ourselves instead of all the wonderful gifts you guys usually send to us. Our Christmas mail time is coming up later this week. Stay tuned for that and we will see you guys in our next vlog.